Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new episode of Taste Test here still at the Post Falls Festival by the Squeaky Swing and the uh, Karate Booth. My name is Sean and every Wednesday and Saturday I post new episodes of Taste Test so scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos. We'll be trying new stuff today so let's see what I can find. Today we're going to start with a free sample, a rare free item here uh, at the Post Falls thing but the award-winning chili, I don't actually know what it's called. B-roll Sean, you're on top of it. Um, we're going to start with a free sample. This is not chilly weather. I'm just going to say this is hot. It's already hot outside. I'm going to be molten by the time this is done. So good luck to me. But I'm excited. They even gave me like a little spoon. Little baby, little baby. Oh shoot. Little baby taste test spoon. So we'll do that. Oh, that's really good. I really like that. I think it's, so it's all meat chili from what I was reading on the sign. So there's no like beans in it or anything. It's really good flavor. The meat is like tender and juicy. The, I don't know, what, what you would like sauce, I guess would be the, the word for it. It has a really good flavor to it. It's mixed really well as well, where the meat is like your number one thing. And then the other stuff is additive and there's not too much of it. Sometimes with chili, you can be like, oh, there's like a lot of these other pieces and I just want the beans and the meat or whatever. So, hey, this is a good first spot or a good first, uh, good first bite and it was free. Next up, we have a bit of a redundancy. Sean has made an error. Uh, I got this delicious cowboy dog. That's, I don't think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It has pulled pork. It has barbecue sauce. It has little green onions. It has mac and cheese on it. Skipped over, well, I read that a mac and cheese didn't internalize it correctly, and I saw that they had sides of mac and cheese. So it's a little bit of a double, uh, but that'll be, that'll be okay. I have a fork, a knife, and a spoon. We'll try the mac and cheese first. Kind of a, that's kind of a big bite. Look at that, we're learning. Now the bees. I like that. It's creamy. The noodles are a really good texture. They're kind of on the softer side, which I feel like is kind of a tricky thing to get right, especially when you're making it in big batches. I don't know how they're making it, I'm just assuming. Um, but yeah. Good flavor of the noodles. I think they're kind of like a, they're just a regular noodle. They're just a regular noodle. I don't know why I was like gonna, I thought they were like the Twizzler noodles. Twizzler? Swizzle? I don't know. Those are just words. Now, the question becomes, do I eat this with my hands or with a fork and knife? I prepared to be responsible adult, but I'm not. So, tricky. Yeah. We're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut it. And the best part is I can edit all of this. Oh boy, that pulled pork does not want to cut. Pulled pork is one of the trickiest items. It's the item that I have the hardest time actually getting. I like pulled pork, but it can be so good and so bad that it's just too wide of a, uh, too wide of a, like a difference that it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it. But we're out here, we're having fun. Let's try it. There's a look at it right there. We've abandoned the fork and knife. It was not working correctly. I didn't grab any napkin. That's really good. That is superb. The dog is great, but the pulled pork is the right texture. The barbecue comes through. The mac and cheese is just an additive little fun thing. That's a winner. I'm glad that I grabbed this. Really, really good. And now I'm a mess, so. Let me go clean up. We have freeze dried Tootsie Rolls. That's our next item. We're gonna end it with a, with a sweet item here um, with, like I said, freeze dried Tootsie Rolls. It says on the back, these products are made in a home kitchen, not subject to regulation and inspection by regulatory authority. These products may contain allergens. And now I'm scared. So we're gonna give these a whirl. I'm not a big fan of the freeze dried candy craze, I guess you could put it that way. It's a very popular thing that I've noticed over the last couple of years here or in like vendor malls. Um, and they usually don't just, they just don't have things that I'm all that interested in, but freeze dried Tootsie Rolls were a little too much to pass up because I love Tootsie Rolls. They smell like Tootsie Rolls. Shock. Absolute shocker. Let's give it a try. I don't know what I'm expecting here. That's what they, that's what they look like. Uh-uh. Nope. The flavor is good. Restaurant here, 
One moment, please. What's the hardest Tootsie Roll you've ever had multiplied by about five? That was awful. I don't know if I need to be sucking on it a little bit more to like try and soften it up or whatever, but like Tootsie Rolls are not that hard. That was a miserable bite. Uh, I don't recommend these at all. It's kind of exactly why I don't like these. I've had bites here and there of the candies. I'm just like, I don't know if I, it's like just a texture thing or if it's just like a bad batch or whatever, but these are just way too hard. I'm not looking to break my jaw with one of these. So these are a pass. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Taste Test. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A little two part thing here outside of the Post Falls Festival. Second weekend of July, it happens every single year. So if you'd like to try it yourself, you can come down to Post Falls, Idaho and try that out. Uh, if you like this specific style of content, kind of out and about doing things, let me know down in the comments below. Pacific Northwest, kind of inland Northwest food things. Let me know where they are. Let me know when they're happening. Maybe you'll see it on a future episode. We're probably gonna do Pig Out in the Park later this year. So hopefully you enjoyed if you'd like to see those videos, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. You can also leave comments or suggestions, I should say, of like the regular foods that I try on this show down there as well. What it is, where to find it, you might see it on a future episode of Taste Test. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and bon appetit.